are here in Bodrum uh, and however much we're in a very particular place with a very particular topography, very particular context, uh, we often have to use architecture to really make the place speak in a different way. And modern architecture has always been kind of good for this. You know, modern architecture, steel, glass, transparency, these have been the main rules of the system for almost a hundred years. And here at the Kum Hotel in Bodrum by GAD Architecture, the use of steel and glass, specifically in the exterior areas, gives the guests a direct contact, a direct visual contact with the exterior, such that when they're in their room or here when I'm on the balcony, they have a direct contact with the sea, with the neighboring flora and the landscaping. There is no physical barrier. It's a kind of visual direct connection. And this is an important aspect of this architecture in a sense that it is a modern architecture. It's allowing the convergence of space and light in an area and allowing direct views on that with no large walls or masses to kind of take it away. So this kind of Aegean modernism here, I think is one of the successes of this piece of uh, this, this architecture in a sense that we are here really experiencing visually also through this particular view, each of the houses, each of the residential complex hotel rooms have been oriented towards these particular views, allowing this maximum relationship to the exterior setting, to light and to the air. We're at the Kum Hotel and Spa in Tukbiku Bodrum. This is a building or a complex built in 2009 by GAD Architecture on the northern coast of the Bodrum Peninsula in the Tukbiku area. Right to my right is the Aegean Sea and to the left are the mountains, the rock faces of this geography, this topography. We have a sleep, steep slope here and the steep slope forced the architects to take into account the different views accessible through these rooms that you see above me. Each of the individual rooms the view has been aligned towards the sea careful not to obstruct the neighbor at the same time create a sense of privacy. The planning has also been done with a relative cause and ease to the kind of new lifestyle that can be created here in Bodrum in the 21st century. The vernacular architecture that accommodated the agricultural society that was here has now given way to a leisure and hospitality economy. But at the same time, this architecture still respects the organic context that we find ourselves here. The flora here, a mix of tropical and indigenous plant life, has grown over the last 10, 12 years to the shape you see in now. Often when we look at architecture, we see finished buildings and we see finished 
photographs of buildings with no one in it. But today you can see here that the flora, the trees, the vines have grown to make this place what it is, which is an example of an Aegean organic modernism. We still have modern glass and steel allowing us views and allowing us sunlight into the spaces. But this has been done carefully with a geometry that accommodates this sleep, steep slope. The retaining walls clad in travertine and limestone, also from the area, have provided a context, a material context to this area. At the same time, if we look around, we see many, many examples of different types of stones, granites, different types of gravels that give character to this location. The craft element is also readily apparent in the extensive use of steel, handcrafted in different geometries and patterns, and colored with a patina of rust. This rust over the years has changed and mutated to give this place a certain local feel as it wears over in time. The success of the architects has been to allow this transformation to happen at the same time not degrading the original design intent. GAD architecture, especially in Bodrum, in many of its projects, over time we can see that the buildings have really grown into the setting and the setting has grown into the buildings. So this is what I feel would be a success in architecture, that we can take into account 12 years and say, this lifestyle, this economy, this particular place still lives and provides value to its residents, its visitors, and to the locale in general. Benim kadar manyak bir adam çünkü. Normal bir adam değildi ki. O tip bir projede normal düz insanlarla da yapılacak bir proje değildi. Fikir sundu. O zaman fikirdi daha henüz eski aşamasına bile gelmemişti ama organik kelimesi. Organik kelimesi bana çok enteresan geldi. Yapay malzeme hemen hemen yok. Tamamen Gökhan'ın projesine uyumlu olarak ne varsa doğada o kullanıldı. Yani taş kullanıldı, demir kullanıldı. Ama plastik hiçbir şey kullanılmadı. Ahşap kullanıldı bol bol. Kafasından ne geçiyorsa onu açtığı, açtığı her şeyde benim çok hoşuma gitti zaten. Haddim de değil hoşuma gitti demek belki ama ne yaptığımızın biz bilincindeydik. Ya yani bunun zaman içinde doğada yok olacağını çok iyi biliyorduk. We started the, the Ecom project. Omler and also Omler a consultant was an Ifan Kurish. He wanted to design a new idea 15 years ago, combining re, uh, residential and hotel together. Every house has a different view, and we would like to keep that the idea. And uh, we played a kind of the we call that today the parametric design and organic design whatever you you call each house and also each hotel has a different view and we didn't design any windows the two sides and the like uh, concentrate on the house to or room to directly their own view